Hello everyone and welcome to my video on my simple and easy to use uh, weekly budget. Uh, I'm going to run through just sort of how you can use it, uh, take full advantage of it and uh, of course down in the description there will be a link for you to download it and start uh, using it yourself. So the reason why it's uh, actually quite easy is that it actually will capture everything you spend in a year and then sort of get that into a weekly amount and then you can have your little target savings up here and at the end it'll spit out a sort of weekly spending limit you have for lifestyle spending which is like your uh, shopping or meals out that sort of um, discretionary spending but um, what I'll do is I'll just run through how to uh, use it properly first so down the bottom you see we've got the three tabs we've got the summary screen which we're in now this is actually the last thing we will use uh, we've got the data tab here which is where you can just simply input all of your uh, income and expense items and then there's the instructions tab here if you need to refer to this so I'm not gonna, I'm pretty much going to cover all this in the video but when you download it uh, it might be good to give yourself a sort of uh, refresher uh, the most important thing I will say is when you're opening it uh, Excel should prompt you up the top here it should say warning uh, security content has not been enabled uh, do you want to uh, enable macros so uh, all you've got to do it'll be in yellow up here up the top uh, just hit enable content that way you can um, uh, use the functionality of the spreadsheet you can use the macros so basically it just makes it a lot more user friendly uh, if you don't do it basically these two buttons up here the add income item and add expense item will not work so it'll just make your life a, a little bit harder so just make sure you go ahead and uh, enable the content uh, so the data here this is sort of the back end of the spreadsheet uh, probably the most painful bit about it, but it's one of those things where you do it once, might take you 30, 40 minutes just to input everything, go over your bank statements, but once it's done, it's done, and then it's very easy to implement. So it should look pretty straightforward. All you've got to do is import every single income item you're likely to have over a year, and same with expenses. Uh, what you can see is, uh, obviously you've got the item name, the amount, but then the frequency. And what it'll do, the spreadsheet will automatically convert everything into a sort of weekly amount. That way you can actually factor in big annual uh, expenses or income items into a weekly amount. So like here, getting your car insurance down to just a, a weekly figure here, which actually makes it easier to budget week by week. Uh, so I'll just show you how to add the items yourself. Uh, so the easiest thing you can do is just to use these buttons up here. I don't recommend writing them in at all. Um, if the formatting is not done properly, it can sort of affect the spreadsheet on the summary tab. So just make your life easy and just use these add income and add expense item buttons. It's super, super easy. I'm just going to show you an example of um, how we can do it. So let's just add an expense item. Let me pull this in. All right, pretty straightforward item. Let's just say, let's go with gym. Uh, and let's say we're paying $15 a week for our gym. Actually, just to show you the sort of weekly adjustment, let's just do 30 and then go fortnightly from the drop down menu. We can hit add and it has automatically been converted to a weekly adjustment. Easy as that. So you just need to go through and add every item you can. Uh, with income, think of more than just your salary, you know, garage sales, whatever, any shares you might own, any rent from investment properties, make sure you definitely uh, include that, uh, just so you're capturing everything. Uh, what I will say about expenses is you should only be including your sort of um, regular recurring expenses that you can't really control, like rent, that should be fairly constant each week, health insurance, car insurance, all these sort of things are just going to be your sort of recurring transactions. I wouldn't put in sort of meals out or clothing or whatever because that's not going to be constant every week. And that is what I would call sort of lifestyle spending. So when you get to the summary tab, uh, after all the data we've punched in, it'll actually spit this number out for you. And that's the sort of weekly amount you can have to spend on your sort of weekly, uh, on your lifestyle spending, like you're going out, your meals. Um, stuff like that, drinks, whatever. So yeah, do recommend just sort of, these are good examples here. It's also good to include things that are like subscription based, even though like I'd call Netflix um, sort of more a lifestyle 
spend because it's a sort of recurring one it's probably just a bit easier to um, to include here uh, let's say 17 a month can't even remember what it actually is at the moment let's just pretend it's that <laughs> um, so it's good to add those sort of recurring things that you can't control week in week out because they'll stay constant all right so let's just say we've got all these done we've got all our income items we've got all our expense items you can come over to the summary tab and it might look like there's a little bit going on here but don't worry 99% uh, of it is sort of automatic so you can see here in the summary tab uh, all this is is just a sum of all your income items and it's uh, in a weekly amount and this is the sum of all your expenses again in sort of weekly form so the easy thing with this spreadsheet is that it does convert everything to weekly so it's just a lot, lot easier to manage. So you can see you've got a surplus of $419 uh, just purely from all these items we've inputted here. Now the one thing you do need to do on this spreadsheet is adjust your target savings. Uh, now what it is is just a percentage of your total income. So 910 30% of that will be a 273 we've got here. Now you can change this yourself, see what it looks like. Obviously smaller savings, you're gonna have a bit more to spend on your weekly lifestyle. Uh, and what it'll do here is also convert it to like a uh, annual savings. So if you're not really too good with percentages, but you think, okay, I wanna have 10 grand saved over a year, how do I change the percentage to reflect that? Well, one little tool you can use is GoalSeek, and I have covered it before, but I will quickly cover it again. Uh, so you want to go to data, and you want to go to, sorry, bear with me, uh, what if analysis over here in the forecast tab, and then you hit GoalSeek. So it'll bring up this little tab. Uh, so it's very, very easy. Set cell, this is the cell you want to change. All right, so we want, well, it's actually the result you want. So basically, I want this annual savings uh, cell here. I want that to say uh, 10 grand. So I'm going to select this cell because that's the cell we want changed. Set it to value 10,000 by changing cell. Now we need to change the target savings percentage cell now, don't we? So basically, what it's going to do is change this target savings cell so that our annual savings will say 10 grand and hit OK. Excel will do its thing. All right, 21%. So there you go, that's how you can sort of use Goal Seek if you have like a clear uh, dollar amount of annual savings uh, you want and you're not too good with percentages. And you can see down the bottom, there's your weekly lifestyle spending. So that's your sort of um, non-discretionary, uh, discretionary spending rather. So you're going out, your meals, your clothing. And down the bottom, I've included just a little formula pretty much just says um, what you need to do each week to reach your savings goal. And if you'd stick to that, you should do very well. So, like I said, that's, uh, that's the tutorial. Everything's in the description for you to download. If you have any questions or improvements you would like made, uh, let me know and I can uh, update them and uh, send you a new link. And um, yeah, I'd really appreciate some feedback on this. I hope it's something that you find really simple and easy to use. So anything is greatly appreciated. But thank you for watching.